To set up an FTPS connection to your Trishift account and upload a test file to the FTP server, you have to do the following steps. First, log into your account. Then, navigate to the App Store and find and activate the FTPS Uploader app. After you activate the app, you need to navigate to the My Apps drop-down menu and select the FTPS Uploader app from the list. While you're here, you need to set a password for the FTPS connection. After you have saved the password for the FTPS connection, you can start your FTP client software. In this example, I'm using FileZilla, which is an open source FTP client for Windows and Mac. Navigate to the Site Manager, choose New Site, and enter a name for the connection and start filling out the connection properties in the general settings, based on the information provided by the FTPS app. Under Host, we'll enter si.tradeshift.com Under Port 990 Under Encryption, we will choose Require Implicit FTP over TLS. And under Logon Type, we will select Normal. Next, copy the username from the FTPS app and enter the password you set on the connection. Next, Go to the Advanced Settings and under the field Default Remote Directory, enter front slash outbox. This is the folder where your FTP client will navigate as soon as the connection has been established. The Outbox folder should always be the destination of your uploads. Next, navigate to the Transfer Settings and change the Transfer Mode from Default to Passive. At this point, we can check once more to make sure that we have entered all the information correctly and then click Connect. Once the connection is established, you will be able to see that your FTP client has navigated directly to the Outbox folder. This folder should always be the destination of your uploads. Before you start uploading files, please be advised about the correct order of the files you are uploading. If you do not follow the right order, then the dispatch engine will not be triggered. The right order is the following. First, you have to upload the invoice file, and only after a successful invoice upload can you upload the semaphore mechanism file, which must have exactly the same name and extension as the invoice file, followed by .ok. After uploading the files in the correct order, the dispatch engine should be triggered and the files you uploaded should be moved from the outbox in the sent, failed or dispatch failed folders. The placement of your invoice in the sent, failed or dispatch failed is based on the result of the validation engine. If your files have passed the validation rules, then they will be sent to the receiver and placed in the sent folder. If your files have not pa passed the validation, they will be placed in the failed and or dispatch failed folders together with the dispatch XML which contains the error message based on the validation. In the description of this video you can find a link to the detailed documentation and guidelines of FTPS connection, file uploading and server structure.